First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity, and Shalom unto the Aqua if you believe in his truth and truth and sincerity. And, um, Saying it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. You know, contrary to popular belief, a lot of people are going to be in a rude awakening because these are the times that we are in. As you see, the, the world is getting worse. You know, people are still living and giving in a marriage, you know, it's, Nothing new under the sun, doing the same thing that they did in the beginning, you know. So the Lord is about to visit this place, and he ain't going to visit this place the way that you think he's going to visit this place. You know, Christianity effed us up. You know, we've been taught that God is all love, and, you know, he's just a loving, caring God, and basically he don't do no judgment. All judgment come from Satan. God is just a soft lovey dovey power well you gonna find out that the lord is in control of all things and everything that get judged comes from him and he sent satan on people read the book of job and it says and will it begin to make inquisition of them all right inquisition is an investigation what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. So, and we are in that process of the affliction of Zion being fulfilled. That's why the Lord is about to visit this place. Because we served our captivity. We serve, you know, being spit on and being at the bottom and being regarded not as a nation. All these other nations looking down on us. All right. So, the people who touch the apple of his eye got to pay. Now, we are still in the hands of um, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, to this day. The other nations that's in Kahoot, you know, the beast system, the uh, the NATO and the EU, the, those at one point in time had us in captivity too. But right now, we are in Esau, Edom's hand. All right? And it says, and when the world... Sh that shall begin to vanish away, shall be finished. Then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall all see together. All right? And that's talking about the internet. That's how we will be able to see all together. All right? Let's get Psalms. This is the internet scripture. All right? And it says... To the chief musician, Psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament show of his handiwork. Day unto day utter of speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. All right? That's what happens when the signal goes through the feed horn. All right? And that's how you get the internet. That's how you get YouTube. That's how you get Facebook. That's how you get internet, period. All right. And through these platforms, that's where the truth dwells on the street corners. All right. And on the Internet. And it says there is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard, because when you go on to YouTube or whatever platform you get the truth from, you are able to change the language. So that means if you speak Chinese, you could change the subtitles to Chinese and, and, and so on. And it said their line is going out through all the earth, talking about that feed horn, the antenna, all right? And their words to the end of the world, and them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. And that's the knowledge, all right? So, go back. So, it says, when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall all see together. Just explained it. And it said, and the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The women with child shall bring up 
forth untimely children of three or four months, and they shall live and be raised up. And you know, when my son was born, I actually thought upon this scripture because my son, he actually been standing since five months. He been taking steps since six months, and he started walking at eight months. So this scripture is talking about how babies is going to come in these times doing things that's not, you know, the normal. You know, because, you know, in the beginning, everything was, you know, running in its proper course. But now we in the end, we're going to see some um, spectacular things in the end. And, and it talks about children, you know, being three or four months. And she'll live up and be raised up. Premies, you know, coming out early and, and living a full life. All right. So it say, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. All right. That's why they already orchestrating a famine right now. That's why you got a whole bunch of ships over there, over there in the Pacific Ocean. Just all the goods and foods just rotting away. That's orchestrated because they're trying to orchestrate a famine. All right. And that's why when you go into your stores these days and ain't stocked like it used to, you want you got right now, you got Amazon backed up. All right. They um they behind weeks and weeks on delivery so everything that the, this place that was sown as it says as suddenly the sown places appear unsown the full storehouses shall be suddenly found empty all right so be be on the lookout for that and it's happening little by little and it's orchestrated and it said and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear they shall be suddenly afraid World War Three is on a is going to come. Let's get a quick scripture real quick. Um, what's that? Three twenty five. Because you got to understand, a lot of people are going to be scared when the World War Three happen because they're going to be drafted. It say, "Thy men shall fall by the sword, and the mighty in the war." What war is that? As matter of fact, let's get it. Revelation 8 and 13, because the the first two woes already passed. The third one coming quickly. And it said, Behold, and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. So when that trumpet sound, World War Three is going to happen. Jacob's trouble. Let's get that. So this is why people are going to be. Well, men is going to be suddenly afraid. Matter of fact, this scripture right here um, says it perfectly. Jeremiah 34. And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel, concerning Judah. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace and ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child wherefore do i see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness all right this is what's coming into the earth this is when that sound is going to trump i mean when the trumpet is going to make a sound man world war three is on the horizon jacob's trouble is on the horizon Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that's talking about the elect. For it shall come to pass in that day, say of Yahweh of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and I will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. So the Lord is going to change everything. All right, put us in our rightful order and destroy our enemies. All right. So. Man, I wish I had a computer. I hate doing videos off my phone. Cause you see, I got to get these precepts and then I got to go back and back and back. But anyways, so it said, and they said they should be suddenly afraid. I just read why. And it's saying at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies? And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Now, what is the spring 
of the fountains. That's talking about this truth. The scripture talks about that it's going to be a famine of the word. That's Amos 8 and 11. And then when you go to verse 12, it said that people from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south is going to be seeking the men of the Lord, but they're not going to be out there. That's why the scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. But let's get into the scriptures of why, you know, men is going to be fighting one another. Friends fighting like enemies, I mean. I'm going to read through this fast because these are common scriptures. But this is what's coming to the world and everybody think it's a game. And they say, woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. This is happening on a, on a small level right now. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard the kings nor princes. Talk about the government and the president, anybody that's in power, the police officers, all right? And the course of their action shall stand in their power. It's going to be a purge out here. See, when, when Esau make these movies, which is just the Lord sealing his instructions, read Job um, 33, 13 through 15. Um, you got to understand when they make these Hollywood movies, they basically trying to show you what they're going to do. But it's subliminal messages. So they're basically trying to be like the most high. They think that they are the prophet. All right. So when you see these movies, don't just watch it for entertainment. Also watch and see what they're trying to do. Even Squid Games. So it said, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's martial law. All right. And say, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. This is the main reason why this destruction is coming to this place. Because people are very proud. They don't have the most high in their thoughts. They think they can do whatever they want to do. And when you go to 2 Ezra 8 and 50, it said many great miseries should happen to them in a later time because they have walked in great pride. And it said that houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. And it said a man should have no pity upon his neighbor. This is why our friends is going to be fighting like enemies. And it said a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but sh shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Matthew 24 and 12 says, since iniquity shall abound, the house, I mean, the um, the hearts of many shall wax cold. All right. So ain't nobody going to be talking about that's my bro. That's my sis. That's my best friend. That's my favorite cousin. When people are hungry, all that shit go out the door. When all hell break loose, all that shit go out the door. All right. So. So at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein and the springs of the fountain shall stand still in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remain from all these that I have told thee. All right. Because the scriptures told us that these times was going to come. So that's why the scriptures say that we are without excuse. All right. Because you could find the truth if you wanted to. All the people that walk past, all the people that scroll past a Hebrew is a light video. You've been marked. So whosoever remaineth for all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation at the end of your world. What do it say? All right. Actually, in the same chapter, verse nine, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right. So when the Lord destroyed this place in the in, in the main headquarters is the United States of America. That's when we're going to see the salvation in our land. Let's continue. And the men that are received shall see it. That's the elect. Come up hither. All right. The strangeness of our salvation. That's why they keep talking about space stations and uh, UAPs, which is, um, um, what is it? I, aerial phenomenon. Oh, unidentified aerial phenomenons, which is talking about the chariots of the angels. But, you know, they ain't going to tell you that. So they they trying to make a mockery of it. But that's why they have these things. That's why they talking about it more, because they know the truth, too. So in the men that are received shall see it, have not tasted death from their birth. So going back to us being um, changed. All right. I mean, going back to us being delivered by the chariots of the Lord. All right. They're going to see it and they're going to be afraid. And most people are going to have heart attacks when they see that.
all right because that's gonna be some sci-fi for your ass <laughs> so let's say and have not tasted death from their birth and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meeting all right so let's get um read this real fast it said we're gonna be changed right you should know where i'm going for those who's in the truth, of course. And it said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We should not all sleep, but we should all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, the dead, the one who die in the Lord, shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be, and we shall be changed. And it said, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? All right? So that's what's going to happen for the elect. What a beautiful ending. And it said, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. And it said, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. All right. This is when the Lord said that the earth. Matter of fact, let me get it real quick. I'm going to read this. Then get the last scripture. It said, as for faith, it shall be flourish. It's locking. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. All right. So let me read through this real fast. And end the video. And this is this is the end game scriptures right here. And it say, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. That's the missiles and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought you ought to be? In all holy conversation and godliness. This should be your primary conversation. This truth. And it said, looking for and hasting unto the coming day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the element melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth where dwell of righteousness. That's what's coming. So as for faith, let's read the last scripture again and end the video. And it said, as for, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall be, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. You're going to know the truth in that day. You're going to know who the Lord's chosen in that day. You're going to see the glory of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, his children in that day. All right. And ain't going to be no, I don't know anything. All right. So all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.